In this video, I'll show you how to paint a Dark Angel Space Marine. Here we go then with this Dark Angel Space Marine. So we're just going to base coat the armor first. We'll actually fill it in uh, as the last part of the model. So make sure you wait until the end to see that happening. Um, and also watch till the end, I'll tell you how you can actually win this model free of charge. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to base coat all the armor with some Caliban Green. Now you're going to need two coats of this if you're doing it by brush. What I would recommend, if you, especially if you're doing a whole army, is to get an airbrush and you can actually shoot this through and you can get some nice gradients on there as well. So I've got this fairly thin, so I just want to work it round quite quickly. Um, and one of the things I'd say as well is when you're going around is to be careful. When you come to kind of some of the joints, is just leave that kind of black line in there. No issue if you do go over it, it just makes it easier for, for clean up later on. So I'm going to carry on base coating the rest of this armour. Like I said, it's probably going to need two coats. And that's okay, because it keeps it thin, keeps all the detail. And we'll come back and we'll start filling in some of the, some of the block colours on this chap. So two coats of Caliban Green, and the model's looking pretty good. We've got a nice even coverage of green across the armour. So we're going to start doing the leather parts now. We'll go for a brown leather. So I'm going to use some Rhinox Hide, and I'm just going to pop this on the, the belt. So that's there, we've got the pistol holster just there as well. And then we've got the pouches on the other side, or so on any bit that you want to be to be leather. In case you're wondering where his other arm is, we've got that attached to another cork, because I thought I could have done it, but it had been really difficult to show you how to paint the chest eagle so go ahead base all the pouches any other leather bits like the belt in rhinox hide and then we'll come back and start highlighting them once our rhinox hide is dry just take some more fang brown to highlight the the brown leather so all we're going to do is just move the brush down the shape of the sculpt makes it really easy to get a nice uh, nice highlight some lines in there. We've got the belt as well, although I'm highlighting it there, but actually that's probably going to be covered. Um, and then once that Morn Fang brown is dry, just a, just a little touch of scrag brown, just kind of on the, on the sharpest points. Again, doing exactly as you were. That just gives you a nice brighter highlight on the leather. So go around, make sure you do all the leather like that. Come back and we'll do the chest eagle next. I'm going to base the chest eagle with wraith bone. Now, this is a much brighter colour than the, the black underneath, and you may have strayed onto it with some green. And if you use an airbrush, it's probably green anyway. So you're going to need two coats. Just take your time, don't put it on too thick. And just make sure that you don't get it on the green armour. Again, though, at this stage, if you do get it on some of the green armour, not a problem. You can just go back in with some Caliban green to fix it. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to put another coat on. It might need three quick coats to get the effect we want, but just get a nice solid base coat of Wraith one on there. Now, the next stage for shading down the chest eagle is really simple. Just take some skeleton hoard. Just going to paint that over everything you've just painted wraith bone. So I'll just take your time, work it in. Try not to get it on the green again, but like I said before, if you do, it's not the end of the world because you can just go in and fix it. So this might take just a touch longer to dry with the contrast paint. If you do put too much on, I've got a little bit much on that side. So I'm just going to pull some away with a clean brush. Let that dry, we'll come back, we'll highlight it, and then we'll move on to the metallics. Once that skeleton hoard is dry, we're just going to highlight the chest eagle with some Screaming Skull. And I did also do the parchment of the purity seal just on the leg as well, so if you want to do it that colour then just go back and work it on. 
So all we're doing with the screaming skull, I'll just show you on this side, is we're just picking up the bottom of each wing. Nice and simple like that. And just take your time doing this. Just get a nice highlight on there. You see I've gone over onto the green a little, so I'll just go and fix that with some Dark Angels green. And then we've kind of got the big part of the wing there. Just pop it on. If you did want to do another highlight on, on this part, then a little bit of skull white on the sharpest edges won't hurt. But for this guy, just, you know, a standard trooper, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to finish off this side, highlight the purity seal. Now, I won't do the metallics next, we'll do the gun casing next, because it'll be easier to do it that way around. So I'll show you how to do that after this. For the weapon casing, the Dark Angels have got red casing on their weapon, so I'm just going to take some fist and Red. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this over the casing, trying to be as tidy as I possibly can. Now, you're going over a black undercoat here. See, I've already done the Caliban green, so it might, you know, it might need two coats just to get a nice, thin, smooth coat of red. And, you know, you don't have to watch me do this for too long because it's pretty straightforward. Just be careful over the bits you've already done. As you can, as he says that, he goes and paints red over the green armour. So I'll have to go and repair that. And then we're probably going to take two coats on this. And then when we come back, we'll uh, we'll shade it quickly. And then we'll, uh, we'll give it a little highlight. With that red down, it's probably a good idea to do the metallics now as well. Because we're going to wash them both with null oil. So just take my hand steel. I'm just going to paint all the metallic parts of the bolt's rifle with iron hand steel. So we've got all, obviously all the clip, the barrel there. And we'll start to do the metallics on the, the marine as well. So just take your time, work your way around. So obviously you've got the scope, I'm just doing doing it quite roughly there to show you the bits that are going to be silver. Now with the iron hand seal, it covers pretty well. If you've got a lead belcher, that's fine as well. You could probably get away with just the one coat of iron hand steel. Um, just take your time trying to go over the red because it just saves uh, having to go fix it. And then on the marine himself, we've got uh, we've got the buckle. Okay, nice and straightforward there. Uh, on the back, we've got the vents on the backpack, so this is an easy one. Just work your way through. We've got the pistol holster, uh, pistol holster, the pistol handle in the holster. My brain moves faster than my mouth sometimes, and sometimes my mouth moves faster than my brain. And then we've got some little bits on the helmet to do. So this is, you know, just take your time with these bits. Uh, again, you can go and tidy up with... Um, Caliban green if you do spill over, but good practice and you know in terms of your brush control It's good practice to try and get it done first time so that you're not constantly going back and forth between colors So then we once you got all the metallics done let it dry and then we'll uh, shade it and highlight it next Shading the metallics is really really straightforward. All we're doing is taking our null oil and we're just covering over anything that we've painted silver. Really straightforward. Uh, you can also use the null oil while you've got it open if you if you want for you know if you want to reinstate some bits that you've gone over green like that. I, I'm going to go over it with a bad and black later, so I'm not actually going to use that to reinstate it. Make sure you cover the metal, and then for the gun. We're going to do the uh, metal and the casing, so just work the null oil all over the silver, all over the red. Make sure it's dry, give it 10 or so minutes. And we'll come back and we'll start highlighting and we'll do the, we'll do the red first. And then we'll do the silver on the gun as well as the rest of the model. First highlight we'll do uh, is with my fist and red. We just want to kind of reinstate some of that red around some of the edges and around the casing it's quite a thick chunky highlight and we'll go and kind of refine it with a 
with a better highlight uh, once this kind of a fist and red is dry so just take your time don't try not to get any on any of the silver and don't forget you've got both sides of the of the gun to do let that dry and then when you're happy with that we'll come back and we'll give it a we'll give it another highlight for a highlight on the weapons red casing just take some wild rider red now this is a uh, much brighter than the fist and red and all we're going to do is we just want to find the edge of the model and just move the wild rider red along it and what you'll find is that as that wild rider red dries it'll kind of blend itself down into the the fist and red underneath Just work this along all the edges, take your time, and if you do go on a little bit thick, then you just use some of Fist and Red to tidy up. For the metallic highlights, we're going to do this pretty much exactly the same way as we did the, the red highlights. So we're just going to find the edge with some chrome from Vallejo Model Air. We're just going to work it along, nice and simple. I love this colour for highlighting silver, makes it really, really easy, flows really easy, covers really well, it's just a great cover colour for, uh, for highlighting silver. We've got the eagle on there as well, now you don't have to do the silver, you can do it gold, but I thought just wanted to limit my colour palette a little bit rather than introducing kind of more metallic colours in there. And then for the metallics on, on the marine himself, again, we're just finding the edge. We're just following it. So work your way around, highlight all the kind of metallics with the chrome. And then we're not too far off, get into the kind of really exciting bit, which is the armour. And as I'm doing the armour, I'll tell you how you can actually win this very marine. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm not going to highlight too much on the helmet maybe a little bit on there and then we'll come back and uh, we'll start to make this marine really pop you can see i've attached the arm now that i've done the kind of chest eagle and the the bolt uh, and that means that when i'm doing the highlighting i'll be able to more easily get make sure i've got the right tones before i worry about that though what i want to do is i want to just take some of bad and black and i just want to make sure that i've got all the uh tubing on the armor painted black so that's kind of around the legs a little bit and the other major thing i want to do with your bad and black and you need a good point on your brush you need to keep it quite thin for this so i just want to line around some of the shadow on the armor plates now you can use null oil for this absolutely no problem uh, and you can wash it over and then just go and tidy it up with some Caliban Green. That's a much quicker way of doing it than what I'm doing. But the way I'm doing it just gives you that kind of a little more control, less cleanup. It takes longer in the initial step, but um, in the long run it's a lot faster. So I'm just going to work my way around all the armour panels, just putting this black lining in around them. And then when we come back, we'll get to the fun part, we'll get to the armour. So once that black line is done, didn't actually take me as long as I thought it was going to, we're going to start highlighting the green armour. So the first highlight is going to be Warpstone Glow. So what we're going to do, as ever, is we're just going to find an edge and we're just going to run the brush along it. And that'll start to kind of pick up the highlight colour. Might not have enough on my brush, might just need to add a little bit more in there. So you want to work your way around with the warpstone glow, just catching as many edges as you can. And whilst we want to go for a fairly thin highlight, we are going to be putting a kind of more extreme highlight on there as well. So you can afford to be a little bit thick. So take your time, work your way around, and we're going to catch every sort of sharp edge with this warpstone glow. Um, and I did say that once I started part, uh, painting the armour, I'd tell you how you could actually win this model. 
And to win, all you need to do is drop a comment underneath. Um, and make it a genuine comment as to why you'd like to win this Dark Angel. And then I will pick one at the end of the weekend. So this goes live on the 8th of February, 2020. And what I'll do is on the 10th of February, I will pick a random winner based on whose comment I like the most. I'll get in touch and I'll post you this model. No charge to yourself, just my appreciation for supporting the channel. So I'm going to carry on with a warp zone glow around all the kind of edges on the armour. I hope you are too. And then when we come back, we'll pop the final highlight on and then we'll start. We'll do the eyes and this Dark Angel is done. The last highlight then is going to be Moot Green. <clears throat> and this is going to be, it needs to go inside the, the Warpstone Glow highlight. So take your time, get a nice point on your brush. And you're just looking for thin lines. And what you'll start to notice is that the armour then starts to really kind of come alive. And really pop. So take your time. And all you're doing is you're working your way around again. Just kind of following the edges where you, you're given them by the model. And I'll show you on this arm now just how much difference the, the moot green makes. Like I said, I'm not putting a huge amount on. All I'm doing is just trying to get it inside the Warpstone Glow Highlight. It's a nice thin line. You see straight away that arm, the difference the moot green makes. It really makes this Dark Angel armor pop out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way around with the Moot Green. I'm not going to put huge amounts on um, like I did with the Warpstone Glow. Because I don't need to. Because this is a much thinner line. And we're really just going for the kind of the edges. So we don't need it to go all the way down the legs. Any mistakes you make you can just tidy up with a bit of Caliban Green. So I'm going to go ahead, finish the rest of the moot green, we'll come back, we'll do the eyes, and that's the last thing we need to do. Remember, comment down below for your chance to win this Dark Angel Space Marine. Competition closes on the 10th of February 2020. So the last thing we're going to do on this model are the eyes. So I'm just going to take some white scar, and I'm going to paint that into the eye socket. That was quite thin. That's okay, so I'll let it dry in. I'm probably using too big a brush for this. Probably could have dropped it at brush size. But we've got a decent tip on it, so hopefully it'll be alright. So just work that into both eye sockets. And let that dry. Let it dry and we come back. We'll pop some uh, Blood Angel Red Contrast in there and that'll be the Dark Angel Space Marine complete. Once that white scar's dry, all you're doing is taking the Blood Angel's Red Contrast paint and I'm just going to paint it over the white scar in the eye. Nice and simple. Again, if you do spill any on the green, you can just over it and uh, cover it up with highlight colours. Once that's kind of dry, you can see how the eyes look, and you can either leave them like that, or what I'm going to do for both eyes, and they might not be dry, so this may go back, uh, may backfire, is I'm just going to retrace a little bit right in the middle of the eye there, or towards the front of the eye, I should say. Make sure that you've got wet paint on your brush. Just pop that little line in there to give the impression that the eyes are glowing a little bit. And there we go. This Dark Angel Space Marine is complete. Base him to match the rest of your army. Leave a comment down below for your chance to win him. So there we have it. This Dark Angel Space Marine is complete. I think it's looking really good. Now, if you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Of course, all comments will be entered into a prize draw. I'll make sure that when I send the model out to you, I put the decals on so it's fully badged. And if you want it based to match the rest of your army, I'll do that as well. 
You can see the links in the description of my recommended equipment, and you can also get between 15 and 20% off any Games Workshop products at Goblin Gaming. So please feel free to use those links. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.